What is going on? I'm Zedmot. We are on the dev build. Dev build is fixed. Big shout out to the dev team. It was broken. They were on vacation. It's now fixed. We can now have 12 boosted red statues and a million diamonds and all the resources and all of the things. No, you can't download it. Please don't ask. Someone will ask as a joke and I appreciate those jokes. Anyways, one thing you can't do with the dev build is put in a creator code. You should do that in the live build in every Supercell game, but if you see that right there, it just doesn't work on the dev build because I would buy all of the diamonds and then Supercell would go bankrupt and it would be bad. Anyways, enough of that. We can't jump into that season 38 button in the bottom right-hand corner, but we can go into the Mega Crab. Now, quick note. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this or done this, but you only need to unlock one area in the map to get the Mega Crab. Now, that isn't real in the real game, but I just wanted to show that because it's kind of neat on the dev build because you can jump all the way to HQ25 with zero clouds open. Now, the Mega Crab, you might have already seen because one of the boom tubers doesn't follow instructions terribly well and did a sneak peek yesterday. In case you missed it, here are the details. We're going to start with 75% gunboat energy gain. If you've never dealt with gunboat energy gain, I'm going to show you how it works. We are going to throw one artillery. We have 54 gunboat energy down to 51. Boom, up to 56. So 75% is a bit of a weird number and they end up rounding. So every three, every gunboat energy you use, you Every Detroit, every building you destroy, you get five gunboat energy for. How's that? So we're going to throw five, and then we get five back. Going to throw seven, and you guessed it, we're going to get five back. So there is going to be just ridiculous amounts of gunboat energy. Um, that's only on stage one, by the way. Stage one to stage 29, you're going to get five gunboat energy for every single building you destroy. That simple. And then on top of that, no, it's... Just wait, there's more. You're going to get a different boost, a different gunboat energy every single stage. I try to document them, but it's literally different every stage, and I didn't see a pattern at first glance. So uh, you're just going to have to play the game and see where it comes. A little bit fewer tiny shocks, a little bit fewer remote hacks, but nonetheless, some very, very, very good things. Now, let's get back into the Mega Crab. Uh, we'll do one more stage just so that I can center the screen so I can pause and we'll jump ahead. Now, you'll notice if you are paying quick, quick, quick attention, you'll notice I didn't have any gunboat energy statues on this tribe, on this account. Like, watch the gunboat energy numbers. They're just absolutely through the roof. The fact that you're getting more gunboat energy from every building means you need to be very, very, very cautious about how you use your gunboat energy. Uh, regressive, I should say. Actually, quite the opposite. Uh, because you're going to have crazy gunboat energies. You're going to look down. You're going to be, like, focused on hitting the perfect shock. You're going to look down, and you're going to have 420 gunboat energy. This crab is crazy. One good thing about this is we do have the barrage damage tribe, so make sure you've boosted your tribes. That's about the only tribe that is worth boosting on this one, so do consider getting that boosted up. And then as soon as we hit stage 30, boom, up to 100% gunboat energy gain, which is not a huge, huge jump because of the rounding with 75%. But, as you see here, we throw three gunboat energy, we go down to 51, and then we lose internet connection because the dev build absolutely sucks. Dev build is, I don't know if it's throttled back or it's on a different region or what, but it just ruins my life by disconnecting constantly. So hopefully that doesn't happen too much, hopefully you don't hear me scream at my device, but... Boom, 51 goes up to 57. We get six gunboat energy for every single building destroyed. Just absolute insanity, just like the dev build sucking beyond belief. Now, a couple of times I've tried to release sneak peeks and I have not released them because the dev build keeps losing my connection on Mega Crab. I am going to release this one. I don't care. It might be a tad embarrassing for the Boom Beach dev team, but... I just am not going to sweep it underneath the rug. Anyways, we are going to skip ahead to stage 60. And this is where the real fun begins. Because now we get 150% gunboat energy, which we get that original 
six, and then we get the rounding on top of that. So this is where things get absolutely, 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 just to say it one more time, insane. Now, if we destroy one building, we're going to go from 51 to, come on, someone's doing the math out there. I know you are. Boom, up to 58. Rounding, doing not what it should have been there, I feel like, but still, seven gunboat energy for one simple building. So we're going to drop our troops here. Now, I'm not sure if tanks are the right answer. Um, probably some form of scorcher with bullet. Now, energy drink typically is really, really not the answer, but my thinking is that, hey, you know what? We have more energy drinks than we know what to do with, so let's get them rocking and rolling. Our tanks are going to cruise through all of the things, and we should be able to absolutely pummel, pummel, pummel some things once we get rid of some of these sh- uh, Yeah, guess what? Client and server out of sync. Ah, this is just incredibly frustrating. Weirdly enough, we've lost all of our tanks. We're going to spend 232 diamonds, and now let's go have a look and see how far our troops got. Troops got decently far. We would have had ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous amounts of gunboat energy, but of course, the game crashed. And for those of you who aren't aware, um, there's geo-distributed servers in AWS, which is what Boom Beach uses, and I assume for the main game they have servers all over the world, and I assume for the dev build they have scaled back to only have them in one region, and that region is far from me. So, um, probably cost savings but this never happened in the past, and it's incredibly, incredibly frustrating when trying to make sneak peeks. So I will do my darndest to keep making sneak peeks, but it just might not be possible to show gameplay in future ones. So, uh, uh, yeah, frustrating beyond belief. But look at these GBE numbers. We are just smoking through the gunboat energy. Gunboat energy, I can't use it fast enough and I can't keep it below 100. I just have to keep throwing things willy-nilly. And if you do things like popping critter containers, for example, you're gonna just load up on gunboat energy. It is silly, silly, silly how much gunboat energy you use. So throwing those barrages onto random, those random pillboxes or whatever the heck they're called, do make sure you're doing that because by doing that, you're just hugely, hugely increasing the amount of gunboat energy you have, and it's going to be incredibly, incredibly useful. So probably should move back into here, throw a critter over there, and that'll allow us to get all of those shield gens. Now, if I had the barrage damage try, we probably could have just kept barraging those shields. That's going to be another strategy that is going to be more useful than normal with this Mega Crab. Just simply barraging the shields instead of going and getting them because you have so darn much gunboat energy. But um, do make sure you use a calculator if you're really serious about that stuff to see what kind of numbers you're looking at because it some of those shield gens get up to like 300,000 health and you're going to be needing a lot, lot of shocks to make that happen. So, not shocks, barrages, sorry, flustered from this darn dev build ruining my sneak peek. Hopefully you guys got a little bit of entertainment out of the fact that it absolutely infuriated me though because that's kind of fun too, watching someone stew, watching someone steam. And uh, so, ah, uh, left, left the face cam off this morning. My bad. So the whole watch, it's, you can listen to me, Steam. Listen to me, Stu. Um, nonetheless, tanks coming in for the easy takedown of stage 60. Lots and lots and lots of red statues for this Mega Crab. If you take advantage of that statue storage, by the way. I know a lot of people just crumble about the statue storage, but it is fairly useful for the Mega Crab as long as you can keep those stones churning through your sculpture. Uh, that's going to be it for me, though. I will be bringing out a warship sneak peek hopefully soon. Uh, I think that's next day, two days, three days. But uh, do consider subscribing to get that detail. I shall talk to you soon. Thanks for coming in, though. I am Zedmot. Peace.